Navarro Light Warbird that we're firing at right now is an upgraded version of our own ship. You know, one that isn't 200 years out of date. But let's see if we can uh, convince this other ship of the arrow of its ways. Come around on him and give him one of our big torpedoes. Oh well, maybe we didn't even need it. And it just waits there patiently. Chirping away. Time war and sell. What the heck's that? Let's go investigate that, shall we? Scan Helix for Iconian information. Hmm. The Sulaban have a great deal of information provided to them during the Temporal Cold War. But not much on the Iconians. By the 28th century, the Iconians have mostly disappeared from history. I wonder where they went. They buggered off. Well, that's interesting. Now let's restore this arm. One more to go. As soon as Delta is connected, we can negotiate a transfer. Let's see, did anyone annoying warp in? No. We have Delta over here. Let's reposition that structure. Oh, ships hey! More Tal Shiar ships! You can see we took a torpedo right there and it just basically bounced off. That's because our shields are still up and still good. Crimes Rebel, blah blah blah. How about a heavy torpedo? Would you like a heavy torpedo? Of course you would. Here, have a heavy torpedo. Ooh, that had to hurt. We are also on fire. Possibly as a result of our own torpedo. But I think the other guy came off worse. And another heavy torpedo away. This might end it. Yep. Time has taken much from the Sulaban. Now that the arms are restored, we've located the refugees. They are being moved to a centralized location so you can get a transporter lock. We will explain the situation to them, but a representative for the group is asking to speak with you. I don't trust the Tal Shiar. Oh, uh, that's not exactly an uncommon opinion. Satra, huh? Kayan informs me that we're being transported to your vessel. We realize that we can't stay on the Helix, but we have no intention of being forced into servitude. The Tal Shiar already destroyed our home. All we want is for you to leave us on an uninhabited world or someplace we can hide to try to rebuild our lives. You'll be safe with the Tan. We have, you have my word. We've heard of the Tan. We've also heard rumors that he's plotting revolt against the Tal Shiar. Going to him sounds more dangerous than staying here. Would you rather stay and be captured? I know I'm out of options, Centurion. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I don't know why the Tal Shiar are abducting our families, but we can't afford to lose anyone else. How about I make you a deal? You personally guarantee that my friends will be safe at the Tan's fleet, and I'll work for you. I've served as a science officer on multiple civilian vessels. I can help you, I just can't run anymore. If you need to fight the Tal Shiar to keep my friends safe, that's what I'll do. Agreed! Oh, by the way, Rihanna Kev, you know of anybody? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, beam aboard. Let's go over there and siphon them up. All the refugees are aboard, but there's more trouble. A tall Shi'ar battleship, the IRW Koval, has entered the system. They're hailing us, and they're asking for you by name. Remember, they're not here to be friends. Put them on screen. You dare to test the might of the Tal Shi'ar? Commander Mora Locke! 
Romulans do tend to have some pretty metal names on them. Moral lock. Centurion Novus, you're ordered to stand down. You're wanted for questioning by the Tel Shiar. Lower your shields, blah, blah, blah. Nope. You actually speak for themselves. You answer for the structure. Remember, you're given a chance to surrender. Close the channel. Power to shields. I recommend using our cloaking device to get close enough for a sneak sure, attack. Sure, why not? The cloaking device is nice, but it has a certain drawback. Mostly that as soon as you cloak, your shields go offline. If you get hit by stuff when your shields are offline, like those torpedoes we were nailing those people with, uh, that's bad. But now, let's go into battle. And... ready. Fire! Normally we shouldn't even be able to defeat this kind of ship, but, you know, early missions. Unfortunately, our big torpedo just bounced off their shields. <laughs> Who would have thought? That right there was a tactical ability. Attack pattern alpha. It makes our weapons do a ton more damage than they ordinarily would. Right now, we've got ourselves a hole in their shields. Let's take advantage of it. That many locations allow you to click the beam to ship or depart system next to your mini map to leave your current map. If you're oh, I'll do what I can. Thank you for taking the refugees, Centurion. Tell them we're sorry. We simply have no way to protect them. Hopefully they'll find refuge with your fleet. Our best hope now is to cooperate with the Tal Shiar and tell them you've taken the refugees. Do what you have to do. We can't offer much, but I'll tell them this little band that the Tan's fleet is standing up to the Tal Shiar. I'm also sending you the contact for a friendly local trader in case you need salvage or have goods to sell, but please, keep our involvement discreet. And please go, leave now before more Tal Shiar arrive. Cayenne closed the channel. He's right. They'll be lucky if the Tal Shiar let them live. We should leave and report back to Tamer. Some of the refugees we brought aboard may have starship experience. If we're expecting more trouble, we'll need some help on the bridge. Excellent. Now let's book it. And we can hail tomorrow to report. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. Why, thank you for that piece of advice. We'll give the refugees a good home here. They'll be safe and we'll do all we can to help them. This is just the start, Centurion. We won't stop until we're on a new world. One of our own. Ooh. You have congratulations, Centurion. Click here to view your Yay, about 15 things popped up at once. Alright, trait slots. Uh, traits are special powers that you can have. They are nice, they are good, you want more of them. We'll assign them later. I'll go through them once we have a moment. Also, Satra has reported for duty. We now have a science officer. You can see her right there in the bottom, along with her power, hazard emitters. This is a good one, actually. It heals the hull of our ship, so if we take damage, we can recover. But more importantly, it also puts out plasma fires, like those plasma fires that have been burning on us in every combat we've gotten into. And let's take our next mission. Craterus. Many Romulans settled on Craterus after the fallout from Shinzon's rebellion. But while they were safe from the destruction of Romulus and Remus, Craterus has a bleak world with little in the way of habitable land. There are ample mineral deposits, which the Remans mine and sell for food and other necessities, but their lives are harsh and unforgiving. Anyone who can survive on Craterus for long as the Remans ha has has strength. Have has strength? That's not a sentence I would use. They could use that strength in our search for a home world, and I know the Remans have no love for the Tal Shiar. Go there. Talk to the Remans. Show them we are sincere and that we need their support. I'm not afraid of the Tal Shiar. Yes, yes, yes. And that's our first few missions in Star Trek Online, Delta Recruitment. Thank you for joining me. I'm Nelson Williams. This is Star Trek Online, and I'll see you at the crossroads.